Your Excellency, mimi ni nashukuru hata jana nimepita hapa nilikuwa na uh, SG wa UDA, Senator Malala, my great friend. Yeye ni kijana ya nguvu sana. Tukiwa na yeye tunasukuma maneno mengi mgumu. Na unajua hata wewe hujajua siri. Msiwe mnanisahau. <laughs> unajua hiyo <laughs> maneno paka niseme niko kanisani. Hata shamba uwezi lima mara moja na ukavuna, unalima mara ya kwanza unalima mara ya pili. Sasa nyinyi mnasahau mtu alilima mara ya kwanza. Mimi na huyu tulishikana na yeye na tindi mwale. Tukasema huku tukakaa kama ile watu walikuwa wa ukomo. Akisema tukikaa hapa njaa itatungua. <laughs> Tukienda kule tutauawa lakini ni heri tujaribu. Wanaweza kukumulumia tukakula. Sasa tukatoka na yeye na tindi. Tukakutafuta usiku. Sasa si nitoboe kidogo. Tukakutafuta usiku. So tukakutafuta tukakupata. Tukakwambia mwami mzalia mahali aliko huko ako kwa jangwa. Haijulikani the tail is not there, the head is not there. <coughs> Tufanye ushirikiano. No mwami mzalia naye hajajua. Tukapanga maneno na yeye na Faruku. Tunapanga, tunapanga. Na asijui na mimi pia shetani ananyemelea kunirudisha nyuma. <laughs> <laughs> so, tukapanga paka maneno ikaingia UDA na ANC kolapo ikaingia. Lakini mnajua hata Musa na yeye hakufika. Sasa <laughs> Sasa ikakuwa vile ilivyokuwa. Lakini sasa Musa alikufa, lakini mimi sijakufa. Mimi kaka. <laughs> so, your excellency, we are with you. You are our friend. When you are the deputy president, umekuwa kwangu nyumbani, nimekuwa kwako, we are friends. Lakini mambo imebadilika siku hizi. Nikipika simu yako nifanye tu tu. Sio ile simu nilikuwa nimezoea sasa. Hata juzi nilikuwa unajua maneno yamekuwa mingi. Hata juzi wamesema kwamba mimi nilitoa pesa na wewe ili nisikue katika bunge. Na unajua nimekuwa na sherehe ya mtoto alikuwa anaolewa. So hiyo siku tulikuwa kwa mambo ya wedding siku ya parliament. Na mimi najua kwamba kazi ya parliament ni Tuesday. Hii tunaenda ndio sasa usipoona mjumbe wako ujue sasa mjumbe amekuza. Wanasema umenipa pesa na mimi sija kuona. Hatujaonana. Simu yangu nikipika aingi. Nikija gate jina langu aliko sasa ulinipatia pesa cosmosis. Sasa hiyo maneno nataka wananchi mjue kwamba we are in a global economic meltdown mimi nimekuwa marekani juice items i was buying for 70 dollars nimenunua na 200 dollars things are not good worldwide what we are going through is not a kenyan problem sometimes us potembea when you don't not watch as yes your propaganda because this is our country and we want our country to succeed what is important is for Kenya to succeed for posterity and for our children. We are not just building Kenya because we are in positions. We are building a country for posterity and for the future of our children. The pain we have to bear, we must bear because at the end of the day, we must live a nation for our children. That is the truth. And this does not apply to political parties. This is about Kenyans. We do not want our airport auctioned. We don't want our ports auctioned. The recklessness of the past must be corrected now or it will hound us forever. That is the truth and it must be said. Kwa hivyo, mwishimua rais, mina wazasema sana, lakini nataka niseme happy Father's Day to you. As our father, as the father of the nation. Mwana wahana, happy Father's Day to you. Now, fathers amba muko hapa. Father, happy Father's Day to all of you, including our bishop. That is my message. Mbaya nataka niyache hapa. Wala ambao mekua minasema, tumenunuliwa. His Excellency is here. Nasiye hile mulikuwa munajua. Zamani. Squeeze ya toangi sanu. Yo huyo hapa. Kienda huko. Mimi nimekua huko marambiri tatu. Nimeenda na mwishimua wa shiari. Hako hapa. Mwishimua wa shiari sumamu. Wakuhoni. Huyo. Hingi na. Tumekua na ye huko. Wakati ya nituambia haya, pembeeni uzuri, nikauliza mweshimua na hata sikuisi ya sana. <laughs> <laughs> so, wale mnatuambia.
nafikiria ziko huko this man nowadays anaangalia mambo ya mirai na mambo ya kazi ya ujumi siku hizi mfuko yake ayuko vile ilivyokuwa saa zamani hapo lakini nitakutembea ya your excellency na finally nikileta mjomba yangu your excellency hapa ni kwako na jirani anapewa na Mungu you can choose a friend but you can't choose a neighbor you are our own tutatembea na wewe kurekebisha uchumi wa Kenya mimi nina ombi kwako na sitajoka and i know you know the need we have barabara inatoka hapa durani hii barabara sijui ni shetani imekaa ndani inaenda paka na kuto hata karibu niita wachungaji hawa twende tufanye prayer and fasting kwa hiyo barabara hiyo barabara najua tulikuongelesha and you have good plans but now imekatika completely disconnecting lorambi and navaholo tunaomba mitigation if there will be some mitigation to ifanye iwe possible as that process in ulianzisha ya kutoa hiyo contractor to let it work mwingine ingine iko hapa jamindas inaenda paka bukura tena imekwama mahali karibu kitaitwa shimanyero tunaomba pia hiyo barabara sikuombi vitu mpya mimi na kuomba unisaidie zenye zinaendelea ziishe before i come for something new na ukiniongeza transformer 20 durambi iko na town but we still have darkness katika rural unipe hizo transformer na unipe flood lights kama tano niweke in market centers na uongeza sadaka ya skofu <laughs>